Hey guys, this is Gars. Welcome back to another episode of Survival Not. We back here in Feed the Beast and we have a little progression from a last episode. So in our last episode we fought the end dragon and we got some shulker um, soul vials going and in the previous episode before that we got flight going from falling into the void and that is the way of a square fist achievement that you have flight so that's creative flight and that's op just to do a couple of things <laughs> and not wear armor unfortunately unfortunately yes, that's the downside you can't wear armor to have this flight and stuff but that's okay we don't mind so all that preparation was for one specific little thing that is to get to ender io's teleporting pads so these things is awesome but over the teleporting feature is awesome but the problem is to use it um, you need vapor of levity and to get this you have to use a vat and you have to put a grains of pizza well that grains and this grains into it so this grains grains of p let's just call it grain, grains of p oh no that's not gonna work pre-science and Pizality. Yeah, well. So grains of pizality is from a diamond and pulsating iron, which is a no-brainer. It's easy. Okay, and then you get the grains, no problem at all. But getting grains of pre-science, prescience, pre-science, prescient, what? Whatever. <laughs> to get this crystal, you need a shulker soul and a vibrant crystal which is a emerald and vibrant alloy which isn't the difficult for us anymore but what is difficult is emeralds because our miner is not getting us any emeralds all the emeralds so far is from villager trades but luckily feed the beast is making village trades easily for easier for someone and how it's doing that is giving you this villager trade exchanger so if you go to the industrial foregoings manual it says when provided with power and a mob imprisonment tool with a villager in it will give you access to automatically trade with a villager okay so that's awesome so let's quickly craft one let's see how it works um what will you need oh just a gold gear not too bad so one of you and then one of you there we go so you need power so easy easy let's put you down here here you get power okay now we need a mob imprisonment tool also easy to make mob imprisonment tool oh wait this needs a gas here we need to go get a gas here and guess what plastics we have a ton of okay so i have already captured a couple of villagers so this one has what trades rotten flesh for emeralds so let's capture you in the imprisonment tool you have to sneak click for that and let's put you in oh here it says okay eight gold gives you okay that's not bad rotten flesh how much rotten flesh do we have we have a ton so let's see okay how do you activate activate ah oh, you need to actually feed it the items good to know let's see stack put the stack there here we go okay cool so we can actually automate this with all what we already have here we have an item we can insert and um, let's get a filter just a basic filter so insert okay let's clear this you say okay you get that okay so you're not going to take that we first need to activate it okay so just want to reference this is the first time i'm 
using this private exchanger thing. Um, small problem. It's not extracting. Let's see, is it extracting in a bottom corner? I think it should be extracting. Nope. Um, so you have to extract on brown, right? Okay, so now we have access to extract. Let's import on brown. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Okay, great. So it will just automatically go and go and go, hopefully. Oh no, that doesn't work. Okay. Why doesn't you work? Oh wait, needs a word buffer. Okay, no, that's fine. If you can automate it, that's awesome. Let's see if you done. Um, wonder what type of add-ons does it give? Or need, not give, sorry. Okay, so every work it will give us one. So let's give it a couple of minutes. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure if it will stop um, because each villager only have a certain amount of trades to unlock before it will not work anymore. So let's see what happens. Let's put these in here. Put that there, there. Uh, let's put that in. Okay, and we'll give it a couple of uh, well, some time, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Um, so, Vapor of Liberty, we need the teleporting pad. So, we need to make this. Okay, fused course glass, we should have a few, we should have a few of that. Travel anchor, pulsating crystal. You know what? Let's teach the system how to make these things. Ender IO. Um, was a teleporter okay so we need to teach you how to make this it's a normal crafting pattern yes please okay how to make this we need to teach you how to make that too okay what else do you need to know maybe one of these why not that would be cool to know. Um, let's teach how to make the other ones too while we add it. Here it is. I use one back, use one back. Yes, there we go. Great. So now the most used in our recipes are in there. So we come down here, we dump you in there. I'm putting it there because there's three matrixes that can use it, so great. Okay, so uh, what's next? Teleporting pad. Okay, conduit, iron alloy, that's fine. We should have all that. Just make one of those. There we go. Oh wait, we need to make nine of them. Crystal. Let's make eight of them. Next start. There we go. Teleporting. Ooh. Oh, it's just a telepad. Okay. There we go. 
Um, so we have the travel anchors. I think we should have a rest. No, great, awesome. Okay, so um, hmm, where are we going to put you? Let's just see below. Oh, I don't know. Did I show you guys this? Um, I added a few more ME controllers um, because we were struggling with the channels. So each one has its own channel going upward. And there's still one in the middle going up as well. I think that's dense. Yes. All of them should be dense. Oh, and I added a couple more drives with 16k storage drives in here. Just so that we can sort out things easy, more easily. Okay. So now, uses power to teleport entities to a specific position and dimension. Must be placed in a 3x3 three three dimension. Okay, maybe we should teach this whole block so that we can request as much as we need. Okay, let me quickly do that. One second. Okay, so I think I have everything in there. And also I have a dimensional transceiver. So this thing is needed to send power to wherever we need. So, um, unfortunately, it needs a couple of these things that we ne actually need a processing recipe for. So, let's try setting it up quickly. Go in processing mode. We add you. How do we add you? So, we'll have to do that manually, okay? So, we need one do and you okay so one of you two of you two of you and one of you gives a ender thingy what does that do in the resonator resonator i th think we can not do that okay Stored and crafted. Gives you one of you. Great. Okay. Now we need another one. And that does this. Enderman soul. Which I don't think we have anymore. So let's see. Shulker. Shulker, 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 shulker. Okay, so we need to go trap a Enderman or two so that we can quickly um, make a recipe. There is a way, let's just see. Creeper. What's that? Oh, that's. please and then you can go off there we go okay so these things you can say spawn or capture so you give it an empty cell wall and it will capture the things for you okay um i'm not sh sure if it does both actually to be honest, I have never done it this way. But in any case, so that's how we are going to capture Enderman souls and Shulker souls. Is doing it that way. So I'll set up another system that does not have um, a killer Joe on it, so that <laughs> otherwise it's going to kill it all, and we do not want it killed. And that's how we are going to automate. Um, crafting of that okay so now we need to cr um, automate those things so let's do that automation in our treetop again also oh and i made a new entrance on a treetop um, in our leaf top <laughs> that we can enter here oops So it should be one, two things only that's connected here. So wait, two, three, four. 
So we can actually put up a, a s s slice and splice machine. I don't think we'll have enough, but let's see. Okay, we need these things. Okay, but pretty much the same as we set up those. We'll put this slice and splice machine, slice and splice machine up here, um, next to the leaves, maybe just around here. Um, where are you going? Oh, you're going to <laughs> the solar panels. Or do we want to put it maybe at the bottom? Yeah, let's put it over here because over here we only have one entrance or one item. Oh, this is an Emmy conduit. We need to upgrade this to dense Emmy. Me things okay, yes. So I'll put it up here. I'll quickly do that off cam. Pretty much exactly the same thing we did here. So put an interface next to the machine, and we do not need to. So I'll move these two as to this side as well. So all machine processing is this side. Maybe I should move this somewhere. Because you only need power. You don't need data. Anyway, okay, so let me quickly move these and um, add a sole slice and splice machine and also the. Um, how do we make the resonator? That's a slice and splice machine. Um, so this thing, soul binder. Oops. Okay, so I'll make quickly make one of each, and then we'll set it up, and I'll bring you back once after that. Okay, I think I'm at the last one or last setup bit. So just need that. All right, that's fine. Okay, so let's see. So encoder needs to be in this guy. Okay, so you are going to take that guy. You are going to take that guy. Oh, and guess what? This way we're importing it to the IE system. Or AE system, not IE, sorry. And remember the last time I said when I, we make burgers, it directly inputs it to this system. So it doesn't pick up that the ground beef is made. So this way it will pick it up. So that's kind of cool. I just want to show you guys here. So this one is configured to output to the bottom. So it extracts and inputs inserts here. Same with these two machines, they extract and input. Okay, so um, that's going to need, so now we just need to make the other recipes. Um, so for this, it's a vibrant crystal. Clear you out. Uh, so vibrant crystal and a Enderman soul. Ooh, we didn't tell you what you do actually. Okay, so let's go make one because we're only going to need it. Oh, you're going to need XP as well. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We'll pipe XP through the conduits. Uh, conduit. Conduit. Ender conduit. Oh, we do not have enough of this, so... Let's see. Nope. have a couple of that, it's fine. Okay. 
right, so luckily we have our bath here. So, so we're going to say liquid insert on lime green, right? Let me just get my notes quickly. Yep, that's correct. Lime is XP. Okay, you go there, you go at the back, and thank goodness for flight. This is making things so much easier. This is what I love about Ender Eye. You're connected, let's see. Oh goodness gracious, that's awesome! So you should be done now, and you pull it in here, and you get inserted into the system. Awesome! I love it. I love it. Okay, so here we need what is that thing called? Ender crystal. Crystal. Ooh, that's not how you spell crystal. There it is. Oh, we have one. Be careful to have just one when you click on it. So, that's a processing pattern. So now, we can go dump you in there. Okay, so you have that one, you have that. So now we can actually request so much items. And it's awesome. Okay, let's put all this back, back, back. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, but I think it's time we make this bed. Um, I do think we should make it maybe right here. So this needs to be in a 3x3 three three pattern. There we go. Res reagent tank. Do you have a void? What? Do you have a void? Did I have everything wrong? Do you have void? Why did I have a wrong liquid? Grains of the end. So we still need this one, which is fine. And still need that one, so that's good. But we do not need this shulker. Oh well, we fought the Ender Dragon and won, so who cares. Okay, so this is already automated. Now we need to automate Oh, you know, oh, it's only in a sag mall. Oh, I thought it will work if we put it in the pulverizer. No matter. And this one grains. I think I already told, told, taught you how to make a crystal. Let's just show crafting only. Pulsating crystal, inner crystal, and a vibrant crystal. Okay, so you can know how to make all the crystals. So now we're going to make a sag mall. Is the right one? Let me quickly set up another crafting right over here, so that we can do can do the sag mill as well. One second. I have no idea why I brought extra conduits. I already prepared for extra conduits. Okay, so you go there. Come on. Okay, so you extract. Sure, always. Sagmal, so now we just need to get you the processing recipes. Okay, to death, grains of bizality. Okay, pulsating crystal. Pulsating crystal. Oh, we actually do not have. Okay, great. See, it has everything stored. Uh, I just hate this part. Okay, so now we say going to processing mode. Clear that. You need one of those. We grind you down. 
See, this is our manual operation. And dust. Pulsating. Wait, what? Oh, it's great. Here we go. Okay, and you're going to make one grain. Make that, thank you. And then the other one is grains of the end, that's ender crystal. Ender crystal. Right, we should have that. Here we go. I thought so. Okay, so you're going to make that. Grains of the end. No, wait, that's the wrong one. Here we go. And that's that. Oh, it's raining. Not a problem. Okay, so we dump you in here. And now we need a color for you. What about... Um, where is our fluid good? Let's see what colors do we have. That is kind of green, but green is already rocked fuel. So let's see what is up with that. Okay. Insert brown, blue, purple, cyan. We already have nutrient distillation on light gray, gray, pink, lime, XP. Um, maybe light blue. Yeah, maybe light blue. Light blue, because the powder is light blue. That's what I'm thinking, maybe that could work. See, it's light blue and light blue. Okay, so you just need that and that. And we have one. Okay. So, um, I'll set up off game. I think we're running out of town time a bit. And I've been running over time for the past few episodes. So, I'm going to... Um, stop the episode here and we'll continue in the next one. I'm going to set up another vat down there. I'll make a vat off cam and then we'll set it up that um, um, we can craft the do of a void. I sorry, I have no idea why I got confused with, <laughs> with the liquids, but yes, um, we'll put the dusts over here. I mean these small ones so that we can extract as well. I think that will be easiest. So we put it in there so that we can extract what we need. So it's grains. Put them there and there. And then we'll take brown conduit and extract them down. Oh, we don't have to go down there, we can go down here. Okay, but in any case, so that's it for this episode. I think it's any case time to go sleep so that we can get the rain over. And then I'll bring you guys back in the next one and we'll fill this with Dew of a Void. And we'll give it a spin or a test drive and we need to put up a dimensional transceiver. I don't think, yes we did do a dimensional transceiver, right? No, I'm not. No, we're not doing that. Ooh, so I haven't that, done that in this season. So we'll handle the dimensional transceiver in the next episode, and then we'll set up this guy, and we'll see how this one teleports. So we don't have to run down to our teleporting room down, way down there. We just stand here, here, and we teleport to where we want to go. So we choose the recipe, I think.
holding a staff of traveling. So um, these things have traveling upgrades, but we'll get to that in another episode. But for now, we have to call it. We're over time almost. And um, yes, so we'll have to call it. Thank you for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!